Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mario back again with another YouTube video. Today's video, guys, I'm going to teach you guys how to buy a land in the metaverse. Now, I'm specifically going to talk about the super world, uh, which is a part of the metaverse. Uh, in the super world, pretty much you're actually able to buy virtual uh, re real estate, virtual land, as well as augmented land. It's pretty much a combination of virtual, re uh, virtual real estate and augmented real estate, augmented land, virtual land. Uh, now, in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the benefits of owning the super world land because pretty much it sits on top of the physical world. So the creators created uh, a uh, virtual land on, that sits on top of the, the physical world where you're able to buy plots of land, whether it be in stadiums, whether it be in parks, whether it be uh, some of your most memorable places you visited, and you could own that piece of digital real estate, digital land, and actually create businesses, create commerce, make revenue. So I'm going to go over all those details of, of the super world and how to purchase that land step by step. If you have any questions, guys, don't forget to ask down below in the YouTube comments. And don't forget to smash that like button and support this YouTube channel. Uh, and also, hey, don't forget to subscribe down below too, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I do post videos every single week about uh, the metaverse, uh, virtual, real, virtual land, uh, crypto, all that kind of stuff, guys. Don't sleep on it, guys. Uh, so, hey, don't forget to subscribe down below. Now, let me share my screen, guys, and let's get started, okay? So, uh, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to quickly share my screen, and I'm going to talk about the super world. Now, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you guys so you guys can see me. Uh, now, the super world, the super world is part of the metaverse. Uh, the metaverse pretty much encompasses all the virtual world, you know, whether it be the internet, YouTube, everything. Uh, but with the super world, you are able to own a piece of the internet through NFTs, uh, through purchasing plots uh, using the Ethereum blockchain. So what is the virtual, uh, what is super world? So super world, uh, pretty much is 64.8 billion unique plots of virtual land. Uh, the super world is a virtual world where users can buy, sell, collect, and curate over 64 billion unique plots of virtual land. Now, the super world virtual real estate platform is mapped over the entire surface of the globe, allowing users to purchase literally any place on earth from skyscrapers, stadiums, to historical monuments and iconic structures, including wonders of the world, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So they kind of show an example of some of the stuff that, that you're able to purchase, like the Eiffel Tower, the Taj Mahal, uh, the Mount Rushmore, et cetera, guys. So uh, the great thing, what, what I really like about owning the super world NFTs is that you get the opportunity to make revenue. So this is right here. When you purchase plot of virtual real estate in the super world, you'll not only own one of a kind of digital asset, you'll also become a stakeholder of our platform and share revenue created on your virtual land from user activity, including in-game purchases, transactions, advertising, e-commerce, uh, digital commerce, and gaming. So this is huge, guys. So with the Super Bowl NFTs, you're pretty much owning a piece of the internet, a digital lot of real estate that sits on top of the physical world, which is pretty insane. And you can make income. You can make revenue through that. So uh, it's pretty awesome. So in terms of purchasing uh, the Super Bowl uh, NFTs, of course, you do need, you do need Ethereum. You do need uh, crypto. So uh, Coinbase is the exchange uh, that I do uh, recommend uh, where you're able to purchase uh, cryptocurrency. I do uh, have an account myself and I also have a link down below. If you do buy $100 more crypto, you do get $10 of free Bitcoin. So I have, again, I have a link down below in the description. Uh, so take advantage of that if you don't have a Coinbase account. Now, you also need a, a MetaMask account or what they called a Web 3.0 uh, wallets. So you could actually able to purchase NFTs or purchase this, uh, this, this land in the metaverse, the digital land in the metaverse. Uh, so crypto wallet and a gateway to uh, blockchain apps. So pretty much it allows you to buy, store and send uh, tokens. Again, this is all in the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, now, again, I already have it, uh, but you do need this in order for you to purchase uh, real estate in the, in the metaverse. So once you have some Ethereum, you transfer your Ethereum to your MetaMask wallet, and then you're able to log in to the super world. 
and able to purchase this NFT. So now what I'm going to do, guys, I am going to log into the super world. Uh, now I have already logged in into my MetaMask account. Uh, and as you guys can see, here is my MetaMask account. So once you log, once you open up your own MetaMask account, it should look like this. Uh, so it should look like this. Um, and then right here, I do have some Ethereum and, and I did use this to buy the virtual property. So when you have a Coinbase account, you transfer some Coinbase to your MetaMask uh, address right here, and then you're able to use this to buy some uh, NFTs. So this is pretty much how it looks like. So this is the Super World. So, so pretty much the Super World is pretty much, now let me actually make this a little bit smaller, smaller for you guys so you guys can take a look at the whole thing. Actually, for whatever reason, it doesn't want to make it smaller. So there you go. So this is it. So again, Super World mapped the entire physical world and divided it up in 64.8 billion lots so you could own and buy this virtual world that sits on top of the real world. So you could pretty much buy anything, you know, like think about anything that you like. So just for example, let's say, let's go to New York, uh, New York City. Uh, let's go to, a, a, you know, a spot there, uh, Long Beach. There you go, Long Beach in New York City. Uh, you could pretty much own some some digital land, you know, some digital land here. So, and right now, each plot of land, let's see how much it's selling for. Uh, right now, each plot of land, it sits right now at a base of 0 0.1 Ethereum. So it is pretty affordable right now because there's not, you know, the Super Bowl is, it is a brand new project. Uh, some of the stuff has already been sold, actually. So if you look at, for example, let's say, uh, where is, uh, let me see, like some of the more popular areas like uh, Midtown Manhattan, all this real estate has already been purchased. Now, the way you know this has been purchased or is being sold is actually through this, you know, this little uh, uh, little uh, map over here, Kiri right here says, uh, with some blue is my properties. This color is my listings. When it's green, is somebody else is selling it. When it's this color, gray color, it means it's sold. So if you see this area right here in the uh, Midtown Manhattan, this area has already been purchased by someone else. So you can make them an offer and see if they want to sell it to you. And some people have already put their stuff for sale. So when you see those green lots, that's, that means someone actually is putting that, that for sale. So I click on that lot. Someone is selling this lot for 10 Ethereum, which is worth around 40, well, that's around $42,000. So um, again, some of the most um, sought out real estate in the world has actually already been purchased, but there's still a lot of good places out there, guys. Now we're talking about the whole entire world. So if there is a, uh, a vacation spot, guys, is there a vacation spot that you enjoy where, hey, you went for your, took your family vacation where there's a lot of traffic, a lot of people walking, that might be a good place to purchase some, some land. Uh, so what I'm going to do next, guys, um, I'm going to show you guys what I purchased. Uh, so what I purchased, these are my properties. Um, these are the properties that I personally purchased. Actually, if you go to my account, you go to my profile, uh, you'll see them all right here. Um, these are all the properties I do. I did buy four properties, four digital uh, properties. I did buy them in Mexico. Uh, I bought actually... Um, the uh, downtown uh, park in, in Jerez, Zacatecas, in Mexico, that's where I was born. To me, it has a lot of sentimental value. I wanted to own that area because during festivities, to the, during annual festivities, as an area was high traffic, a lot of, um, a lot of tourism. Uh, so I could take it, you know, of course, if I want to create revenue, I could, you know, use my digital real estate to create revenue in that high traffic areas. I also bought some other digital real estate uh, I actually bought here. Uh, this is actually in Teotihuacan. Um, I actually visited Teotihuacan for my honeymoon. Uh, it's actually the ancient Mesoamericans, uh, Mesoamerican, um, uh, you could say pyramids in Mexico City. Uh, so this is kind of a little bit of piece of, you know, yes, just to kind of show you what, what I bought. I do own this area, this area plot of land, this, this plot where there's a lot of high traffic, a lot of tourism. And again, these are ancient uh, Mesoamerican uh, pyramids uh, near the, of course, the Aztec Empire, Mexica Empire, which uh, I'm sure you guys know, uh, Tenochtitlan, the history of, of Mexico, all that kind of stuff. 
So this is a very, very, very sought out property. Uh, and again, I pot it. And I do actually have a video, guys. I'm going to post a video here. I actually did visit it. I posted a travel. I did post a travel video in my YouTube channel, so you guys could take a look at it. So you guys could see how the Pyramid of the Sun, the Pyramid of the Moon, uh, Teotihuacan, all that area. It's it's incredible. Uh, you know, in terms of the pyramid, the size of the pyramid are pretty much. Uh, some of them are actually bigger than the pyramids in Egypt. So uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Guys, this is an agent Mesoamerica in Mexico City. All right, guys. So this is one that I bought. I also bought another one. Uh, and actually here, you could also, if you click here, you could also look at your properties. I also bought another place in Mexico City that has a high traffic area, a lot of tourism. And this, that is El Castillo de Chapultepec. This is pretty much a sits on top of a mountain uh, and top of a, a huge park. Uh, this is it's called Bosque Chapultepec. It's actually a very, very wealthy area. I did visit here as well for my honeymoon. Um, you could also see a uh, museum of modern art. In this museum right here, you will find uh, Las Dos Fridas, a very famous uh, painting by Frida, a Mexican artist. Uh, there's actually very famous. There's been movies made about her, all that kind of stuff, you know, uh, so it sits right here. So I actually purchased this part because this, this is pretty much a museum right now. We're actually the, the first and only emperor of Mexico from Austria, um, you know, actually lived uh, for a time when France wanted to take over Mexico. Uh, and it was during the whole, you know, wars, you know. Uh, so the whole, all the wars of Mexican independence and all that kind of stuff. And again, this is pretty much a museum now, but it used to be a palace. It used to be a government palace. Uh, it used to be a palace for Mexico's only emperor. And now it's a museum, and, but it has a high traffic area. And again, I also made a video. I'm going to post it right here, guys, so you guys could take a look at it because I actually personally visited there and actually made a YouTube video uh, and kind of show a lot of the cool stuff of that palace, that museum. Palace turned into a museum. Uh, and actually, it's a castle. It's literally a castle turned into a government uh, palace. And then now it's a museum for everybody to visit, et cetera. So I do own that, guys, um, which is pretty, pretty cool. Again, I also own uh, these other properties that, again, I bought. Uh, and again, this has sentimental value. This is where I was born. I was actually born in Jerez, Zacatecas, Mexico. Um, and so this is Zacatecas right here. Um, and I was actually born in this little town named Jerez, um, and this little park called El Jardín Rafael Paez this is actually a very, very uh, famous park. So when they have the festivities, like at Sao de Gloria, there's a whole bunch of horses walking around, and there's a lot of music and dancing, a whole bunch of people, like over a million people literally just gathered during Sao de Gloria around April, uh, and it's pretty amazing guys so uh is around april during um during um what was it called it's uh during uh uh is during the the uh april what do you call it the april uh, um then there's spring you know um there's a famous uh you know la, la pascua what do you call the pascua is that la pascua during april la pascua Anyways, guys, so uh, sorry, I'm just trying to remember what, what they call the special dates during, uh, or, or Easter, excuse me, sorry, Easter is the Easter weekend. So during the Easter weekend, that's when there's a lot of tourism from the United States all over the world that comes to this little town and they celebrate Easter and they call it Sauda Gloria. I'll post a video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It, it gets pretty lit. <laughs> a lot of horses, a lot of music, a lot of partying. It's pretty awesome. And that's this little small town that I was born in. So I own now this digital real estate right here, which is pretty awesome. So um, now one thing I want to mention, guys, about owning these NFT plots, these, these are NFTs. So you do own these digital land, these are digital plots. So you could actually sell them. So you could sell them on OpenSea. Now, OpenSea is actually one of the most uh, famous uh, NFT marketplaces. You know, and OpenSea, you can discover, collect, and sell extraordinary NFTs. Uh, so you could sell these, you know, you could sell these, buy them and sell them. So this is my account on OpenSea. And as you guys can see right here, you'll see that I have, I own right here, these NFTs. So these are the four NFTs that I just showed you. 
uh, and I own them right here. I literally recently just purchased them. So I could flip them around and put them up for sale. Uh, and then you guys can see right down over here, you'll see there's other uh, digital lots being sold right now who are put in the market of super world lots. So if you actually on, on, on OpenSea, if you uh, click on super world, if you search super world, uh, you will see uh, the activity and what's been recently sold and what's kind of happening right now. So right now there's 9.7 thousand items in the super rule here in, on OpenSea. There's 1.5 thousand owners. The floor ply price or the lowest price that, you know, usually uh, they've been able to buy and sell these NFTs there's, has been 0 0.08 Ethereum. And recently there's only been 1.4 uh, Ethereum in terms of volume, volume traded. So this is super, super new, super, super early, guys. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done on the super world. But in the next five or 10 years, I really think this is going to be uh, a very, very important um, asset to own in the NFT space. Again, you owning virtual reality land, virtual land in the metaverse on top that sits on top of the real world, the real physical world. It's just pretty insane. So... Uh, you know, you guys can see right here, uh, what is some of the stuff that's selling for right now? Some of the stuff is selling for 0 0.22 Ethereum, et cetera. Um, if you look at recently sold, you can see some of the stuff that has been recently sold. Uh, one of the ones that I thought was pretty cool that recently sold was this, this piece for 0 0.2 Ethereum. Um, and this piece right here, if I go here and I click on it, uh, it takes me straight to and is this digital land that just sold right here was the Alliance Stadium, the Juventus Stadium in Italy. This is the team that Cristiano Ronaldo used to play for. Uh, that recently he moved uh, to another team, but it's right here in Italy, which is pretty awesome, guys. So this, again, you could buy plots of digital land in the metaverse on top of the real world and it could be stadiums could be museums could be uh streets could be your house you know anything guys so it's actually really cool now the last thing that i want to go over that i think is very very important for me to cover is going to go be this right here this is the guide i did download this guide this is the science of super world insider's guide to the metaverse uh and again this has to do with all of the super world and I wanted to just to kind of show you why this is so important, because when you own part of this digital world, uh, you also own uh, the other opportunity to own the augmented reality stuff in it. So, for example, if somebody starts posting, you know, NFTs on top of that digital asset, you could create revenue, you know, you could rent that space, um, which is pretty awesome. Now, just to kind of read this a little bit more about this. So. At this very moment, technology is bringing about the sea change in the immersive experience and with more innovation and inspired uses for augmented reality now available in the realms of art, science, travel, and real estate, and fashion, among many others. Improvements and enhancements, and enhancements in smartphones, smart glasses, and AR, VR headsets are also paving the way for more authentic and unified experience setting the stage for a super world. So... Um, you know, in the super world, users search for, share, and create persistence AR, AR content, augmented reality content, and place it anywhere in the world from photos to videos to 3D objects, animation, digital nat natives, and first timers alike are braiding creative new social communities and explore the world one of a kind interactive experience. So it's, it's pretty insane, guys. So there's a whole bunch of, uh, I guess you could say, insane amount of things you could do with this type of technology. Again, these are NFTs, non-fungible tokens in the Ethereum blockchain. Um, and one of the things that I really like about this, 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 this NFT is this. The super world decentralized ad network allows virtual landowners to share revenue generated on their property through advertisement, e-commerce, data analytics, transactions, gaming, and much more. With the trend of advertising shifting towards virtual media, owners of prime real estate locations in our metaverse hold one-of-a-kind digital assets with the potential to become highly sought after by advertisers. So what this mean, guys, if you guys own the digital plot of land that sits on top of the physical world, it has maybe a lot of traffic. Maybe it's a vacation spot. Maybe it's a 
monument. Maybe it's where a high tourist area where there's a lot of traffic. Those may be areas where you could, you know, own that real estate and maybe sell some space for ads, you know, where people, people could be walking on their phones or their AR or augmented reality headsets and be looking for, for digital ads on top of the physical world. And you could own that. It's, it's freaking awesome, guys. So uh, the Super World platform already allows owners to list their real estate for sale with each plot on purchase starting at 0.1 Ether. However, some users of the platform are already listing their much higher asking prices. So for example, the Eiffel Tower is now selling for 888 Ethereum, which is pretty insane. So that is pretty much it, guys. I hope this whole crazy thing makes sense. I know it sounds kind of crazy, guys, but this is the metaverse, guys. Welcome to the new metaverse digital world. Uh, if you have any questions, you guys, guys, don't forget to ask down below in YouTube comments. And again, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below uh, so you guys can see my next video. Take care, guys.